afternoon, evening, everyone, all the viewers watching from whichever part of the world. Welcome to this webinar, our new series called Seller Speak. I know we were having a lot of these sessions earlier on, but we had to stop this or rather prioritized on other events that we were taking care of. And uh, after multiple requests from many sellers like yourselves, uh, we have restarted this. So today is our very first episode and we are very thrilled to bring together successful brands and their visionary founders. What's interesting in that is this, these success stories are not merely coincidences. They do share a common thread. Each of these thriving entrepreneurs also happens to be a valued seller app customer. How cool is that? So um, today we embark on a journey with uh, Sundar Polani, the founder of Condo Mounds, who will generously share his insights into their remarkable journey as an e-commerce seller on Amazon. So we will deep dive into some of the challenges that he faced, the pivotal movements he had, and the role that Seller App played in transforming his business for the good. It's not just a webinar, it's a conversation with those who have navigated the dynamic landscape of e-commerce and emerged victorious. So without further ado, let me welcome Mr. Palani on the webinar and discover the secrets behind the success. Hello, Sundar. How are you today? Hey, good, good. Hi, Priyanka. Uh, I'm very good. Thank you. Uh, glad to be in your show today and um, share whatever I could uh, with <laughs> the audience. It's a pleasure and, uh, having you here. And thank you for your time. And thank you uh, for telling all our viewers here what your journey looked like for them. Looking forward to it. <clears throat> likewise, likewise. So, Again, I mean, let's just start with, you know, how your journey has been on Amazon. Can you like provide a brief overview of what the journey looked like as an e-commerce seller on Amazon? What really inspired you to start selling on Amazon? Cool. Uh, it is a pretty cool story. Uh, basically, I moved to Canada about uh, 12 years ago and uh, I had a good job back in, back in Singapore. Oh, in uh, Malaysia, and when I came here, I didn't I didn't have any job, right? Uh, and it took me so long. It's it was a year, year and a half, nearly. And uh, I decided that I got to do something. And uh, I had a landlord, uh, so I started helping my neighbors fix their computers. Yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I I I was a computer engineer, and I thought that hey, you know what? It might be glamorous to fix computers. And um, after doing that for a couple of uh, maybe a month or so, uh, I realized that you know it's not the same. It's it's a hard. It's uh, it's it's not the same. So coincidentally, I I met uh, one of my neighbors who told me that she spent thousand dollars installing her TV and wow. the guys had canceled on her multiple times. So I was like, yeah, I can do better in this industry. Oh. So I started my TV installation business, uh, installing TV, going from house to house. Uh, putting TVs on people's walls. So in that period, I think over um, that to date, that would be about 12 years. Um, I then realized that in 2018, so five years into that, I realized that this market has really bad uh, products. It, it's difficult to install. It doesn't cater for any walls. It's, uh, it's time consuming. Uh, they come with the wrong anchors. So I thought I can change this industry uh, after I went into my TV installation business. So I started inventing TV mounts. Uh, our flagship product would be the pillar TV mount, which doesn't require any uh, drilling. Mm -hmm. So that was a hit for us. So there's a lot of condos sprouting across uh, Canada, Toronto, where I live, and also in North America. So... Um, all of them had pillars, right? So I I can I have a solution which is uh, patented, which allows you to uh, strap a TV onto a pillar without uh, drilling into it. Wow! So we started with that, and uh, then we have a whole lot of products today. We have twenty five SKUs, and uh, we decided to sell them on Amazon. Uh, that's the best opportunity for sellers. You reach sellers right away. There are people waiting to buy your products on Amazon. So it's a really good platform to sell on Amazon rather than just your website. Uh, so we started uh, selling on Amazon uh, Canada, 
and then extended to um, US and today we sell in Australia and the UK. Bravo, bravo. I think immense, uh, incredible journey of yours and hence the name Condo Mounts, right? Because of a lot of condominiums and the new mounting TVs on there. So <laughs> very, very interesting. And is this your own product or are you like uh, buying from somewhere and then doing more sort of a retail arbitrage here? Yeah. So this product is, you know, my own invention. Um, and hence the patent. Yeah, I invented it. I, I live in a house and uh, I didn't have a pillar. So I built this uh, huge pillar in my backyard wow. and um, just uh, took me two years. I think probably started in 2016, a couple of years into my TV installation business. I built that uh, pillar behind my backyard and just started inventing different things. And at last I found a working solution and uh, brought it to market uh, to, to try it out. And we started in 2018 and, you know, it took some time. You know, I, I always tell entrepreneurs that uh, business takes time. Uh, it's not going to be fast. And I was just patient with it. it. Took me about just three years to get some traction in sales. Mm -hmm. uh, so about 2001, uh, we, were, we were doing much better, higher in sales. And I think um, 2002 uh, was the year that uh, we we really saw that you know we it's a sustainable company and uh, we wanted to expand and we started just launching more and more uh, products uh, from then great great and how was your first year i mean you know, you're telling me about your experience so how has your experience of course has you know been better when you once uh, first started did you feel like oh you know this is not what i want to do i'm not getting the sales i'm not getting enough money i'm just investing too much and i should just get out was that the feeling or thought behind it or you continue it and then of course it's sustained yeah yeah it was it was hard um from my advantage perspective i was running two businesses i had my tv installation business okay. which was you know very related to my product business right yeah. so um it, it was hard in the beginning because, uh, you know, the sales was not consistent. Mm -hmm. I had my other business that uh, was fueling my condo mounts business. So it's kind of, uh, I was taking in losses and uh, like that. Not big losses, but still you, you put in like, uh, you know, some money into it uh, just to order inventory and, um, you know, get, get, get the listings going on. So... Yes. Uh, but I stayed with it. You know, I started as uh, it, there were times that uh, I was feeling like, you know, there's no market for this. Mm -hmm. There is no demand for this. And there were bad days where there were no sales at all. Um, then I had a competitor actually who kind of copied my solution at some point of time. And, uh, you know, so sometimes you see, oh, okay, this guy has copied my product. So, you know, how about that, right? That's... Uh, you know, uh, of course, that didn't uh, affect me. Uh, I just uh, went through. I said I got a patent for this product, and I'm here to serve my customers. I know that a lot of people want this solution, so mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just keep with it. And, uh, you know, I, I just kept with it uh, throughout. And um, so, yeah, it took me three years uh, to, 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 sh to see for myself that there is a continuous demand. And then, um, um, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, just to say, add a bit more on that, uh, as, as I went into this, uh, 2002, uh, when the sales were more consistent, then I started, uh, meeting people mm -hmm. from seller app, right. Mm -hmm. Who really helped me in terms of the Amazon PPC. And as soon as I engaged, uh, you guys, I saw that, you know, this is not something I need to or want to handle myself. So, uh, you know, and, and when, when I talked to you guys, uh, I think uh, initially uh, I was um, worried, definitely, because, you know, there's a lot of people who promise you stuff, but of course. don't deliver. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think that time I spoke to Brithy. And uh, she said that, you know, you can terminate us as soon as uh, if you don't find us good, but we've got a good team who can do good work. 
And uh, it's like, yeah, this sounds fun. Uh, I, the week after signing, I was traveling. Uh, and uh, we had a meeting with your team. And I was in the airport, actually. I just landed in Kuala Lumpur. I think it was this after COVID. And I had like four guys coming into the meeting. And they were really enthusiastic about the whole thing. Everyone was asking questions. And uh, it's a really good holiday I had because uh, I just knew that, oh, you know what? I got a big team behind me. It's just not one person, right? Right. Uh, so, yeah, that was in uh, October, I think November in 2022. And uh, I had a good holiday and uh, in November. And then December, I realized that, hey, you know what? Sales has picked up. Uh, these guys have uh, been doing something. I think, yeah, it was just maintaining. I think January is when I really saw that, okay, there is improvement, right? Let's keep going. Let's uh, work together, see what we want as a company. So, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, 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 it's a win-win situation. It, we, as a business owner, you have to give your inputs to make the other person's job easier. What do you want to sell? How do you want to sell? What are the keywords? Who's your target market? Sure. So, you know, I, I think I did my best uh, wherever I could. Uh, but uh, also uh, at that point of time was Durga was the lead. Yeah. And those uh, other guys who constantly, you know, uh, helped out. We had downs as well when the sales yeah. went down. Whenever I had feedback, um, you know, no one really said that, oh, that's not our problem or they never gave excuses. There was always an alternative. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this, right? So uh, to be fair, also January and February wasn't really good months uh, for our business as per se. Uh, so, but, you know, we survived that. And uh, as soon as we kept working and we went to February, March, April, as soon as it May, June, July hit, our revenue really doubled. Oh, wow. uh, we brought in we brought in new products, and uh, you know, twenty twenty two was a was a good year. Um, you know, uh, really showing that. Uh, no, actually, it's end of twenty twenty two. So twenty twenty three last year, right? Sorry, just a bit of oh, yeah. So we started twenty twenty two November December twenty twenty three. It just skyrocketed. We doubled in twenty twenty three. So. Uh, you know, all the way till um, September, our sales was really good. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, really happy with that. Uh, and um, really, I think uh, uh, I felt that uh, they did a good job, uh, your team at Seller App, and also they were consistent. And although some people, uh, I think Durga left, and we had Sana who took over the account, and yeah, she too, uh, you know, uh, don't know how much experience she had, but she picked up the account. She learned everything, and uh, you know the good part is also you you got a bigger team, right? So right. it's like, oh, okay, you know what, this is not doing well. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna ask my team and right. and get you some you feedback. Yeah. So that was uh, that was well, that was good. That was good. It felt it felt good that you got a team behind you. Right. So smart sellers really recognize the importance of focusing on their strengths while entrusting other crucial aspects of, you know, your business to the experts. And in your case, this is exactly what you did, right? So really, I mean, were there any specific pain points or gaps in your strategy that really prompted you to, you know, seek a solution like Seller App to optimize on your Amazon business? Yeah. Uh, so 222, basically, you know, I kind of, was confident that uh, I've got this, this business is growing, uh, but has more potential. But, you know, I ran the whole business myself. I didn't have anyone to help me. I was doing Amazon PPC. I was doing the shipping plans. Oh, wow, I was awesome. doing the product design. You know, it was a one man show doing wow. everything, uh, import, ex uh, importing the product, shipping, uh, oh, designing, fantastic. packaging. It was a bit overwhelming, and uh, you know, I, when I went to Malaysia for my vacation, it was Diwali 2022. I said that, you know, I I can't do PPC myself. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that needs to be monitored every day. Yeah, right. PPC yeah. is not something that 
you can run it and it can go. Uh, not that it won't run, it will run, but you're going to lose a lot of money if you don't monitor that, right? Yeah. Uh, so I need a partner in this. Uh, so I need a partner in, in this to to help me do this, um, to at least get started so I can have somebody to rely on on the days that I'm busy or I've not seen it. Because you as a seller, you're so busy with stuff, you let it run, yeah, it will run. But if you don't check in two weeks, Course. You, you explode really your budget, does, yeah, and then your A cost will just keep shooting up, right? You don't know where is the money going. So you know, having uh, so I said I I need to have a partner in this, and we did interview a couple of people, mm-hmm. to be fair, and um, no one uh, really came up as uh, uh, close candidates as much as uh, seller app. I saw that you had the analytics, you had your own seller app uh, application. I think that's where it all started. I was looking for something. Platform. Also, there's a lot of good content uh, seller app was making mm-hmm. that showed that their dedication to help sellers um, as well as, you know, uh, I think the package worked out for us as well. The commitment, uh, there was some commitment required. And, uh, you know, we just found that uh, it was. It would be a good fit, and uh, took the leap of faith, and and uh, signed up immediately. Actually, and uh, starting earlier, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to fly off right now, so I can I can pass or not. I can pass on this uh, this challenge, right? I can have a, a, a someone, just not me, but uh, behind me to help me out with uh, with the PPC journey. So yeah, well, you focus on the other aspects, as I said, you know, you can take care of your listing or inventory and cataloging and other things. So I and course, as much, and, and um, I understand you may not be able to give like absolute numbers. Could you speak a little bit about what was the percentage improvement or, you know, growth that you've observed since you've embarked with us? Yeah, sure. So I think that uh, we grew by... You know, uh, so Amazon seller, I'm just going to take 12 months data, right? So you can see that, uh, yeah, so if you're talking about, uh, yeah, so if you see that we were, I think, doing about 20 to $30,000 in sales per month mm-hmm. in uh, maybe nearer to <laughs> the end of 2022 uh 20 to 30 yeah maybe 15 to 30 um but so yeah 15 to 30 and then in uh, 2023 we kind of uh i just show you here yeah this is how our, our big graph is how we we climb from uh, you know this was 2022 march this is just 12 months but you know we went up uh, uh you know we i think in the peak of uh, 2023 we did up to about 84k Wow, like uh, 30 to 80, yeah. that's a significant time. Yeah, so, you know, that was a significant uh, change. I think that we also had a new products, summer products that we launched in May, uh, June, July. Uh, so that's also contributed to the fact that... So yours uh, is we not a seasonal revenue. product, it sells um, throughout the year, is it? Most of the products do sell, but we did, uh, you know, we were doing the pillars. So we thought, why not do gazebos and uh, pergolas, right? Oh, Using nice. the same technology we have. Why didn't we do that as well? So, you know, that's what uh, for business owners, right? It's the fact that I could do a new product, get that into market is because I I gave, I gave one of my my stuff away, like the PPC away, right? So you gain some time from managing the PPC to do something else. Mm-hmm. And you know that, oh, okay, you know what? If I, the two hours a day that I save on PPC to manage that side, that aspect of business and having the confidence that this team can, uh, you know, can, can help you with getting in the business. Why I'll spend that time, you know, designing a new product, launching a new product. So, that is a product actually that I kind of designed in 2022. And then when I was in Malaysia in 2022, I kind of tested it out with many people. And then we, we brought in units in the May, June, and, and it, it, it just sold so fast. And then, uh, you know, 
so yeah, so you know, the reason that I gave away PPC to someone to help out, uh, help help me gain a lot of time to do other things, you know, right. from product development and stuff like that. So time is not a luxury not- that most of us have. So definitely, you've your totally. <laughs> <laughs> totally as yeah. entrepreneurs you know today i have someone helping me kelvin is is helping me out uh definitely he also helped with 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 uh booming the business but uh you know as uh as as entrepreneur as a businessman you know i realized that you have to give away certain things get people to help you bring people into your team uh so ppc uh went to you guys you guys did that uh, and Calvin helped me with, you know, shipping and other things, uh, a lot of other operational things. He was really a guy who um, who was on time. And, and uh, so, yeah, he was a good addition to the team. Uh, so it's it's always uh, good to have somebody to, to, to just not do everything yourself. Great, great, great. And I know you're doing well on Canada as well as the U.S., right? You're doing well on both the marketplaces? <laughs> so US is a good uh market, right? It is it is also a bigger population compared to Canada. Our Canadian sales is probably only 10-15% of our US sales. We are also 10% of the US population. Uh, so that is uh, definitely U.S. market. We are big in the U.S. Most of our sales, 80-85% of our sales, 85-90% to 90% of, of our sales come from the U.S. Right. Recently, I would say in uh, August last year, we started expanding into Australia. Mm-hmm. And we are in the U.K. as well right now. Oh. Uh, so those markets are new. Um, so we, we are new in there. Actually, we just, uh, signed up, uh, with seller app to help us, uh, manage, uh, those markets as well in, uh, us and, uh, sorry, we started with uh, my other question. Cause I was going to ask you, what are your future plans uh, for growth and expansion? And really, how do you see seller app continuing to support you in your endeavors and I mean, you've already you've already given me the answer in this. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a bit more detail uh, because this is pretty exciting. Actually, one of your teammates brought this up. So, you know, we we are in Australia and can uh, so we we started US and then went into Canada and then what happened was uh, okay. Then we did so you know we Salah did US first and then it's like okay, you know what? Can you take uh, Canada as well? So take over Canada as well. So they took over Canada. And when we started you uh, Australia and UK, we didn't uh, we didn't uh, yeah we we didn't hire seller app. I, I tried to just do it myself. Uh, just you know, when inventory was coming in slowly and you know step by step. So today uh, we have our inventory all stocked up in UK and Australia. So um, seller app is going to take over the, those accounts as well in those countries. And uh, yeah, looking forward to that. We really want to expand in these markets. And, you know, I think while our conversation, we talked about uh, in Salab, they said that they can help us with Google ads as well. Right. Uh, which I had, I was doing it myself and I had trouble doing it uh, just also because of time and expertise. It's it's another uh, ball game as well, ball Google game, ads, yeah. Yeah. right? As an e-commerce seller, I think uh, you want to sell on Amazon in marketplaces as well as on your website. The advantage of selling on your website is you get to interact with the customer better. Uh, you get to market to them a uh, better way. You know, you can do some email marketing, as well as you don't get that with Amazon. So Seller App is going to help us with uh, Google Ads, um, not only search to our website, but also search to Amazon and in Amazon, many sellers don't know about Amazon attribution, which you can uh, test your results with. On and um, off Amazon, yeah. On and off Amazon. So these things, uh, I uh, seller app has the uh, knowledge. Um, I can't speak of the results right now, um, but uh, looking forward to to work with them 
on that. Maybe once you excel in the Australian market, we'll have you come for another webinar and talk about that. <laughs> sure, I, I'm ready, man. I, you know, I tell my guys, my team, we work uh, with the best. Um, we are fussy, uh, very fussy, uh, I would say customers. Uh, we want to see growth uh, ourselves. Uh, you know, we we, we want to see big growth. We have big ambitions. So we want to work with the best teams. And uh, Seller App uh, has been, uh, uh, has been, has been keeping up to their, to their reputation um, and uh, been consistent. So, uh, you know, we 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 are happy with the service. Just to add about, you know, you asked about our growth at this moment. Definitely, we want to grow in these countries. Uh, we also, our aim is actually to make TV mounting easy, mm -hmm. right? So that anyone can mount a TV um, by themselves or if they don't want, if they hire somebody or their husbands or their children or their friends or a handyman, yeah, they can do it as well. It's it's yeah. not rocket. It shouldn't be rocket Very science. Very DIY sort of a concept that you know you can just assemble it yourself. Totally DIY yet safe, right? Because you, you might have really, spent a lot really, of money. Yeah. yeah, you might spend a lot of money to buy that TV. It's it's uh it's it's a precious thing. Uh, but it's safe as well. You don't want it to fall on anybody. So, you know, we have tested solutions. We give a guarantee on our, our products. So really trying to expand that and uh, also making it easy for people. Today, if you go and buy a TV, you got to buy a TV. And then if you want to mount the TV, you got to uh, buy a mount for it and then look for an installer. So what are we trying to do is trying to make it a one-stop shop. So that's our uh, ultimate goal. Uh, you know, to make it a one-stop shop, you just have to point in a place using some AI technology uh, that we are developing to suggest you a TV, a mount, and an installer to have that delivered to you and install in the same day. Well, uh, thank you for being an amazing um, customer, Sundar. And finally, we're really, really extremely, you know, proud to be part of the growth story. Brands like yours and your recommendations and testimonials really make our day fueling our commitment to providing tailor-made solutions that really empower sellers on their journey to success. So, you know, your achievements not only inspire us, but hopefully they would, you know, inspire many other countless um, sellers in the Amazon ecosystem. So as we conclude this insightful session of uh, conversation with Sundar of Condamount, we want to express our gratitude for sharing such a valuable experience and perspective it's evident that success doesn't really, you know, it's not just about the products, it's about the strategy, the resilience and leveraging the right tools. So a special thank you again, Sundar, for coming here, expressing your, you know, gratitude and of course, talking more about your journey, which was very, very uh, interesting and enlightening us with that and shedding really, you know, the light on how um, the impact of Cell Wrap in your journey. It's inspiring to witness such uh, incredible transformation and growth, which has achieved uh, through your strategic insights and collaboration. And we really look forward to seeing the success of many more sellers in this vibrant community. Um, this is just the beginning of our webinar series, guys. And we're really um, excited to continue bringing you stories of triumph, innovation and growth from the e-commerce world. So stay tuned for more conversations with successful brands and their founders. Once again, thank you all for joining us today. If you have any questions or reflections, feel free to share them in the comment section or write to me at priyanka.bora at And until the next time, happy selling. <laughs>